What is up, YouTube? It's for the franchise guy coming at you again with a brand new set of our MLB the Show 20 Weather Show featuring Chance Bishop. It is the second to last episode of the series, guys. Yeah, second to last episode. It has been a crazy ride. You know, this episode will finish up the regular season, and next episode will we'll deal with the retirement of Chance Bishop and uh, the state of the channel moving forward. Going with. Uh, the upload schedule for the upcoming series and all that fun uh, pizzazz right there. Who knows if I want to do it again uh, with our franchise mode because I haven't uh, voiced those over yet. So hopefully we're going to get those done in the next couple of days just to kind of catch us all up with where we're at right now with uh, Blood and Shop. But guys, I, I want to say that I think I made the right call by holding off on starting our Road to Show series, our franchise series, because every time I look at Twitter, it is just a new bug, a new glitch with with franchise, with everything involving the game. You know, a lot of people calling it a cash grab, where very little has changed, and the things that have changed have just kind of been, you know, game reductions. They took things away, they took out year-to-year -year saves, they... So, you know, right now, if... Year to year shit saves weren't taken out. Ryan Rosters would have already had probably version, you know, 1.7 out or 2 out or, you know, one, I think one year he made an update to his roster like three times in the first, you know, 72 hours, 48 hours. You know, because people kept making complaints like, oh, why is this player not here? So he, you know, go back and then add that player and they'd update it. goes, well, now this player's on two different places and. So he had like, I think four versions out in the first 72 hours. So it was insane. So then like the next comes like, I'm not doing that. You know, we're gonna you know, hold off for a wait a couple of days, put our roster out, so we don't have these same problems. We're not gonna rush it to be like a day one, day two roster. So I think uh, giving them some time to, you know, work on the roster would probably be best for everyone. You know, it allows people to add players to the vault to. Uh, go forth and kind of um, uh, just really do what they can do best to, you know, bring the, you know, the replayability of the game back by adding in all of these players and just by waiting for um, all these players to be put in, it sets our series apart. That's like, hey, well, why am I watching this player's friend, uh, this you know, YouTuber franchise, and he doesn't have, you know, Prospect X. But, you know, you're watching my franchise, and guess what? I have Prospect X because we didn't, you know, just create a franchise to rush it out there and be a first place with a franchise. You know, nothing against those guys. If those guys want to do their franchise and not worry about, you know, prospects. You know, some people like to, you know, build their stuff through the draft and have all, you know, the creative players and trade away their players and all that stuff. You know, good for them. That's their style playing, but I like to play baseball in a, you know, a style where it's like, hey, I'm using the prospects. I'm using veterans. I'm using a mix of both, you know, and we're, you know, doing the best franchise I can possibly do swing, that I find entertaining, that I find, right you know, fun. Gonna stop it. And, and gone, you know, it, I feel like I want to try and bring realism deck. to it, too. You know, do I always hit that realism factor? Absolutely not. You know, do I think in our Phillies franchise, I think some of the right were super realistic? The game, uh, the no, I think at some point I got away from realistic and more into just, like, Let's make trades to make trades, kind of thing. And I know definitely in all, the off well, season we got away from realism. You know, we brought in like Luis Severino, you know, looks like the just to have just an insane pitching staff so between <laughs> you know our yeah, top three guys. And I mean, Luis Severino is a good we'll pickup for the Phillies. You know, won a World Series with them on the team. But was he the smartest pickup that whole season? Probably not. I think paying one player forty million a year definitely kind of. Hurts the cap right there, but we did it for him because we thought he was uh, worth that money. Right and I mean, who wants to have 40 million a year? Unless you probably Trevor Bauer, who might consider turning down 40 million a year from the Dodgers. Five. If he thinks he can get even more money, <laughs> turn this off season. 
Uh, but I think a team like we're going into with Seattle for our 21 franchise, I think you want to have the ability to play with all of the prospects because that just gives you the biggest opportunity to do what you want with your franchise. You know, when you have as many prospects as Seattle does, uh, between Justin Dunn, between Justin Sheffield, you know, Taylor Trammell, Kyle Lewis, you have you know, DJ Moore, you know, Tom Murphy, all of these mix of young and old players, like just said young, but you know, Mitch Hanniger, Mark Gonzalez, you know, some of the veteran players on that team. You have a huge, so a you know, you have a huge, uh, you have two different styles of play that series. You can win now, and you can, you know, use your veteran core, and you can trade your prospects and add to that veteran core. Or you can do well, there are good a, you can just do what Seattle does and build up draft stock. Build up, you know, draft stock. Actually, you get, you can get build up draft game. stock in uh, franchise mode for baseball, but you can build up, like, just, you know, prospect depth. Or, you know, like you trade one, you know, one prospect who's not panning out for two yeah, prospects, an right and hopefully one of those two prospects pans out, but then you just turn one into two, and the then you turn two into four, and then you just kind of go from there, this is a must win. and you build a a system for success based off of hopefully, you know, some key trades. You know, do you want to bring Seattle to a World Series in year one. Trade away Julio Rodriguez. Trade away Kyle Lewis. You know, bring in more established players. Bring in the Chris Bryant, the Trevor Stories, and you go from there. Or you can play the long game, and you trade away your Mitch Hanniger, trade away your Mark Gonzalez, you trade them to teams that need outfield help, teams that need bullpen help, teams that need, you know, star rotation help. You bring in their young players, and you integrate them with your young players, and then you just kind of look to the fold and see what young players pan out, and you just kind of recycle the rest into the system. And you just look to build from there. So I definitely think having a series where uh, the rosters are as realistic as possible is the best opportunity for everyone and every series on YouTube. So I think definitely waiting is the best call for us currently right now. It's kind of my decision on on doing it. I mean, I think possibly there's also drawbacks of doing this for not putting out new content. And I'm only assuming the views on uh, this series are going to suffer. You know, like I said, these are being voiced over on the 19th of April. This is going to come out sometime in May. I can believe this is going to the first week of May. So, I mean, it, I know the views are going to suffer on this series are going to probably be half, if not worse, because, you know, like, I think, hey, I can watch, you know, brand new content on a brand new game, or I can watch, you know, old content that was voiced over weeks ago and uploaded on YouTube and just kind of put there. But, uh, weird, it's still weird, it's in a weird spot right now with, you know, what could have been right, what could have been better, what could have been wrong. I definitely hope that going into the show 22, they bring back year-to-year -year saves. So I think that definitely helps with um, streamlining everything, making everything more easily and readily accessible for people to make content. Because if you ask Ryan Rosses what his goal is, I guarantee he's going to say to give franchise fans, to give uh, baseball fans that authentic feeling of playing a baseball game, developing their young talent, playing with the prospects they want to play with, and just absolutely dominating a a series, a a franchise, and changing their favorite franchise around. One text on YouTube though. Peace out. Rock on. Super classy. Have a great day.